visiting card or business card is one of the most important thing in your business or any other business because this small sheet of paper can help you represent yourself in front of others and this is kind of a tradition that if you don't have a business card that means you are not a businessman so you have to have a business card for your business or for yourself and in this video we are going to show you how you can create this just a small piece of paper in canva because printing business cards is not that much costly just designing a bit costly and if you know how you can design it on canva then you don't even need to pay for that as well so hey guys welcome back to marketing funders global this is the 22nd video in this canva course and in this video we are going to show you how to make a professional business card in canva so let's get started So guys as you can see right now i am in my canva account and this is the free account free version okay for this account you don't need to pay a single penny and if you want to go for pro then you can purchase it by just paying small amount of monthly fees but as you know we are using free canva account for the entire canva course because everyone can't afford a pro account right so it is our responsibility to show you how you can design on a free account as well now you just have to search to create a business card obviously you just have to search here otherwise you can uh, click on this create a design option and you can search here as well here right or otherwise you can search here as well just type business card and press enter once you press enter you'll be able to see all the design basically these are the templates which you can choose from and design according to your business niche right also you can select category wise uh, business card templates as well like appointment photography yoga music dj catering web designer anything any profession you are into you'll be able to find out or you'll you'll be able to find that particular profession here otherwise you can go for the uh, blank option blank sheet where you can design a proper visiting card proper business card according to your uh, idea according to your business niche right so also i'm also gonna show you how you can create a business card in a blank sheet so that uh, you can master the creation of a visiting card process and once you master this that how you can create a visiting card from scratch then using these templates will be a lot easier and that will be like piece of cake for you for once you learn that let's just create click on this create a blank business card once you click there you'll be able to see uh, let it load first yeah you'll be able to see this is the front and once you click on plus icon this is the back okay this is the front of your card and this is the back of your card now let's start designing this particular business card okay so for that let's choose an element first i need a square otherwise i can go for rectangle as well let's select square stretch it a bit from there from here and there okay now drag it to a little bit down so that it can work just a second now drag it so that it can work as a footer of the card right once you add this i guess i need one more rectangle so that i can add here as well so for that i just let me first hide this uh, page and resize it a bit so that me and you as well able to see the sheet properly now this is the design which i have added now i want to add one more design from here okay the same design but in different color so for that i want to copy this so i just have to press alt and drag it a bit so that it can copy now resize it and add it here like this a bit more white and change the color into red for now because i am creating card for marketing fundas which is our agency okay and the theme of that particular logo which we are going to use let me show you the logo as well in the upload section we have already uploaded because uh, as i am showing you or you can say as i am recording the videos for this canva course so i have up already uploaded the logo so this is the color which i'm going to use in this particular card so that it can match your theme it can match your logo and it can match your overall business theme right because the color you are using in your logo should match your business card should match your website as well so that the theme and the idea matches properly now i want to add one more thing go to elements search world map yeah this one is fine drag it and stretch it a bit so that it can fit properly here a bit more a bit more yeah now it's fine now let's decrease the opacity of this a bit 
so that it doesn't hinder our main object right now i guess i think i should drop this a little bit more and this one as well yeah it is okay for now now let's just add our logo as well go to uploads well this logo will not be looking good uh, we do have one more logo because i don't think this logo will look fine here uh, let me change this one let me delete this and upload the another one yeah this is the one and we have already uh, removed the background of this logo otherwise you can remove the background in canva as well but for that you need a paid which means a pro canva account otherwise you can just go to google and search for pg dot remove and here you will be able to remove the background of any logo or any other image you want so we have already background removed logo so just drag and drop here yeah it will be looking good just stretch it a bit and keep it in center and i guess i should change the color of this footer what if i add black otherwise i can select the color of this blue icon as well yeah it is looking good now let's change the color of this to this particular red you can choose any color just using this dropper option right now i'm choosing this red yeah yeah it is now looking nice so this is the front of our visiting card now let's go to the back of our visiting card which will be this one hide this page yeah this is the back now first of all let's change the color of this uh, blank sheet you just have to click on this blank sheet and you'll be able to see this color option background color option click on this and i guess gray would be fine this one would be fine yeah now let's go to element again go to graphics no search here this yeah which we have already used now stretch it a bit from here as well and add like this change the color into white yeah this is fine now here also oh uh, i guess the background color is a bit light let us make it dark for now if it is if it not looks good we'll change it no need to worry now add our logo again here because you should add your logo in front and back as well like this then let it a bit up so that i can add the name here now add a headline and write it hitesh ta this is the name okay just resize it and drag here i guess i should change the font to this one no poppins medium would be fine yeah it is looking good yeah it's looking good otherwise we can make it italic if it's look good but i guess simple will be more good now let's just select the name and make it bold so that the name can highlight instead of the title right now let's add the designation uh, choose this add a subheading and write founder and ceo drag it and paste it here now let's resize it and we don't want it to be bold so let's select the text and click on this bold icon and if you want to change the color you can do that as well what if we make it red mm, yeah it is looking good for now yeah it is looking good now let's add one more thing in this section this uh, the half of this second part of the card is ready now let's work on this other half select again this square resize it a bit from here and here and paste it here like this it is in center now mm, i guess yeah i think i should make it backward so that it can go back yeah it is going back i guess drag this one no it is not inside now press backward yeah now it's gone increase the width and inside this now change the color of this for that i'll be choosing this option and click on this dropper icon and select the red color of this logo yeah why oh wait let me select the box and this one is the color option this is the text color option select again click on dropper icon this and click red yeah now it's okay now let's add the elements here uh, let me search here the elements which i needed the first one is call obviously i need a call element right go to graphics uh, i guess this one would be fine yeah this is fine then mail for mail i guess this one would be fine then website for website i guess yeah this one would be fine and at the end we need to add the address for that location i 
icon we need yeah this one would be fine so after getting all the things just change the color of these into white and resize it a more and press it inside the let me resize it a bit more like this yeah it is looking good now select one by one let's select this change the color to white resize it a bit drag and drop here it is a bit more small yeah and yeah, now it is okay select this one change the color uh, i guess we can't change the color of this icon so let's delete this one and select another website if you can't change the color then choose another one yeah we can't we can change the color of this icon select the color press white resize it add it in the design and then at the end this location icon change color into white resize it and add it into the design now let's just properly arrange these icons and obviously the canvas software will help you to al properly align these icons like this i guess i should resize it a bit more than yeah it's fine now yeah it is looking great now let's add the text one by one choose the number first let's add plus nine one nine seven one seven double eight five 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 resize it and select and drag it to the call option then we have this mail option select on wait let me delete this select another text write info at the rate marketing funders at the rate no sorry marketing funders.com again resize it select this one and now here we have to copy the size of all the text right so it is 7.1 so let's select 7.1 yeah aligned okay now add the website select again www.marketingfunders.com now select the text and change the font size into 7.1 which we are using in the previous text as well aligned now let's select the last text which is our address and the address is f12 not it's breathe Bihar, New Delhi, and the postal code is 110092. And select the text, change the size into 7.1, and drag and drop here. So that's how you create the back side of your card. And I think it's finished now. It is looking good. I mean, damn good. It is looking damn good, according to me, because it is looking professional and attractive as well. So this is the front and this is the back end or you can say the other side of your visiting or business card now you just have to click on this share icon click on this download icon if you want to download png otherwise you can download a pdf as well let's select pdf and download and it will be download let me open this file open when done it will be automatically open when the file gets downloaded and yeah so that's how your visiting card looks like I hope you understood how you can create a visiting card for yourself or for your other employees as well. And if you have any other question or confusion, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. Also, make sure you are using simple and sober designing because if you messed up your uh, with your designing in your visiting card, then it will give a bad impact on your prospects whom you'll be giving this visiting card or this business card right so use simple and sober colors and simple sober designs so this is my suggestion from this video and i hope you like the video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye